Hello, the internet, and welcome back to the Gives a Minute live stream. It is Saturday, the 24th of August, 2019. Today, I will be live for 65 minutes. 60, 65, 65 is a good number, is it not? In fact, what's a bad number? I don't know what a bad number is. 65 is a good one. Five minutes longer than the hour perfect amount of time to have a chit chat with you the givers that's what i love about this weekly stream it gives me a chance to talk with the beautiful givers directly directly i love it now i want to check the chat because this conversation today let's be clear i'm not very um clued in as to the ins and outs and i'm sure there's going to be people in the chat that know more about this topic than I do. So today's gonna to be one of those ones where we open up the chat line straight away to get conversation started because I've got a story to tell, like always, but I've got a story and a situation to explain, but I do need help from the chat to maybe guide me as to what's happening and why it's happening. We will get to that. First of all, apologies if I look tired. I am tired. I'm trying to get myself tired because tomorrow morning, my time, so here in Australia, we are at 9 a.m. Tomorrow morning at 2 a.m., right through until 8 a.m., I will be live on my DLive channel, which I've put in the chat there. If you wanna go and see my DLive, it's in the chat. I'll be live on that channel between those hours because DLive, the platform, are running a happy hour, membership drive, streamer drive, and a competition, and it's gonna be all kinds of cool activities happening between those, and that time is 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time through till 3 p.m. PST. So for me, 2 a.m. through uh, 6, uh, 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. And what I'm gonna do, if you wanna swing, swing across and have a look, I want to do an IRL stream. So I'm going to sit here from 2 a.m. until 8 a.m., but that means at 6.30 a.m., the sun's going to come up. So I'm taking the camera off, and I'm walking out there, putting on a, a dressing gown, keeping warm, and I'm going to have the sunrise come up behind me as I do a you know more of a spiel. Probably have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something, sit down in front of the camera, talk about things while the sun's coming up, right? So I did a test of that yesterday uh, with the sunset, kind of like an afternoon thing, and it worked almost flawlessly. I might do another test today. Maybe I'll do a second test on the DLive today. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but the reason I'm tired is because I stayed up late last night to try to get my body clock into this position where I can basically do an all-nighter because I'm going to do my regular stream and then maybe I'll have an hour or two sleep. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But that's the plan. My hoodies! Wow! That's what I plan on doing. Um, and I might... Today, if my, if my thought patterns and train of thought aren't so coherent, it's because I'm already at that point. I only got about six hours sleep last night. And I purposely got up at 6 a.m. this morning. I'm feeling tired right now. Got a glass of water. That's what I need to wake myself up. You know what needs to wake me up? The chat. And look at my hideous hair. And by the way, freshly shaven. Not freshly shaven. A couple of days ago now. So looking up into the chat, I kicked things off there with, hello, the internet. And Benny Crawford jumped in. We had a bit of a chin wag. Everyone's good. He's good. I'm good. I said I'm a little tired. Explained why. Because of the happy hour drive. Um, you've been very busy. I have. Yeah, and I made affiliate. That's why this is gone. I shaved my beard off because it was like, a celebratory measure after I became an affiliate on DLive. So that was kind of like a bit of a gag, like we were streaming and when you become an affiliate, you can host another channel. So I started hosting Danny, where is Danny Black? Uh, DLive Danny on, on DLive. Started hosting his channel and as soon as I hit host, I ran out of there and started shaving, came back and when I unhosted, whoosh, just no beard. It was like, just, just a stupid, stupid gag, you know? Um, yeah, so I've been busy, been doing the, the DLive. Um, and, and Mindy jumps in and says she'll be keeping me company on that DLive stream. So that's going to be cool because it, it's going to be a different audience. So when I stream normally, it'd be like it'd be like flipping this stream on its on its ass end. So instead of 9 a.m., I'd do it at 9 p.m. if you like. There'd be a different crew to come through, right? We'll see. I mean, we'll see. It could, it could also be a complete failure for me, but who knows? We'll, we'll see. Um, 7 a.m. for Mindy, her time. Benny Crawford with a lemon. 
<laughs> Lemons and ice creams. My unis, wow! Don't ruin your larynx. And then he's got a glass of wine there for Mindy because Benny wouldn't be having a glass of wine for breakfast. Now, would he? Now, would he? I don't know. I've done that a couple of times in my life. More than a couple. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um... I've got a happy hour event to go to after the live stream. Oh, today? Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Happy hour's good. Um, and Min Mindy asks what she's been wondering lately. Where did the term my bad originate? I think it came from a movie. I feel like I saw it in a movie. My bad, that kind of, I don't know. I might, might've got that wrong, but that's where I think I found it. Irresputable, that's a word I made up on a, on a DLive stream. Did I mention I've got a DLive cha uh, channel? Go and have a look, it's in the chat. Um, irresputable. Yeah, I made this word up. You know, like, you know, when you're talking and, and you just, it's almost like you're rapping, you're free form speaking and words come out. Steak? Money's too tight for steak. Steak? For home brand shaving cream. <laughs> Thanks so much for the super chat for $2.99 for the home brand shaving cream. I love it. Thank you, Charla. This cheese is for you. Do we do cheeses on the on the Gives a Minute YouTube stream? I think we do when someone donates. We do we do a cheese. Thanks, Charlotte. I appreciate that. Appreciate the love. I am gonna grow the beard back though, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what I'll do. I'll style it up somehow and get something together. Um, but yeah, when you're freeform speaking, often on a live stream, for me anyway, and words just words come out, right? Like you you start speaking. And because you're already thinking about the next thing, you'll often f structure sentences incorrectly and words will fall over themselves. And this is what happened with irresputable. I was trying to think of the word irrefutable and indisputable, and it came out as in, it came out as irresputable. And it's, it sounds like a word, right? It sounds like a legitimate word, but it's not. It reminds me of, and I think we might've discussed this on the DLive. I had an ex-girlfriend, um, well, I had a girlfriend, she's now an ex. Um, she She's Dutch and she's in Australia and she, you know, obviously English isn't her first language. And she had to get her car. She came to me and said, oh, can you help me? I need to get my car registered. And I was like, you're kind of mixing up words there. I know what you mean, but she says, no, 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 no. It's, I know, I know the process is registration, but when it's been registered, then it's registered. I was like, well, yeah. I mean, that makes sense to me. To me, if you the way you've explained that, the process registration, once it's been registered, it is registered. It makes entire sense. And so I was like, you, you know, you can use that. You can use that around me, and I'll understand you. But if you start speaking like that example in other examples, such as irresputable, people will look at you like. What kind of language are you speaking there? It's not English. It's a mixture, isn't it? And by the way, you know me with angle and angel, and I do that just to be silly, but there are certain words I think that are irresputably, undeniably, possibly wrong. Registrated being one of them. All right, so there we go. We had a chit-chat chit, chit about that. Um, I find it useful. It's irresputable. I've never heard it before. Uh, so then I brought up the word yeet, you know, if you, and, and Mindy said she feels like she's the hip aunt be, or the, the hip aunt because she's speaking in these words. And I said, if you start using the word yeet, you're hip. You've nailed it. Yeet. I don't even know what yeet means, but I don't even know what oof means, but I always thought it was out of focus, right? That was a photography term, O-O-F, uh, out of focus, but it doesn't mean that. People are using it all the time. Yeet. Benny Crawford, never heard that word. Benny Crawford, never heard the word. It's a meme now. Okay, I had to look up what chuffed meant. Ch is chuffed an Aussie thing, is it? I was chuffed. I was chuffed at that. You know, it really, that made me that made me feel chuffed. I think that's an Australian thing. Okay, the word yeet means certain and definite at the same time, or is that chuffed? Now that would be yeet. Okay, and I'm looking further down the chat. Zippy young folk are on the ball. They know what's happening, and he spelled what's with a Z. <laughs> uh, oh, and here's an interesting one from Mindy. She said, I'm so excited. I don't have to go back to work until next Tuesday. And I incorrectly jumped in and said, ooh, long weekend. Nice one. Then Mindy said, actually, one whole week, including the extra Monday. So when she said next Tuesday, she actually meant the following Tuesday. And I've always struggled with that because you put this into a, um, a real equation. I'm waiting for the next train. 
Are you going to let the one that comes next go and get the one after that? Which is what Mindy said. Next Tuesday. So not... So a week from now... See, in my mind, it's Saturday right now. Next Tuesday would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's the next Tuesday. But Mindy's saying it's not that one. It's, it's the one after, which... That's the Tuesday after the next Tuesday because use the train analogy. We got to get to the party. Well, here comes the next train. Oh, no, 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 no. The next train. And, it's, you know, the next time you say that to me, I'm going to smash you in the face. Does that mean you got one more chance to say whatever it was? No. The next time you say that to me, I'm going to smash you in the face, right? I don't know. Look, I'm not picking an argument. I'm just saying, like, there's all kinds of ways to perceive these things. And some of them are irresputable. And there's a classic example. If if we were waiting, if you were waiting for a chairlift at the snowfield, right? You're going skiing and it's like, oh, it's, it's going to be great. The first, first tracks, first powder. Let's get let's get the next chairlift up. Are you going to let that one go and get the one after it? No, you're going to get on the very next one and off you go. Just saying. <laughs> Um, but I love this about the English language, you know. And by the way, the English, I guess we should have an English person in here to confirm all this because it is English, right? So we speak Australian English and Americans speak American English, but the English speak English. It's their freaking language. They made it. That's why it's called the Queen's English, right? That's because she's English. They're English. It's called English. We're all kind of uh, mixing we're all kind of mixing things up here. We need an English person to set us damn straight. <laughs> but she's off to San Diego, so that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous, and I'm happy for you, Mindy. Uh, enjoy your, enjoy your next holiday or your next vacation. What does that mean? The one that you're about to have, or the one after the San Diego vacation? I don't know. It's too confusing. Um, okay, see you all in ten. There you go. So then the chat pumped in. No, this week at work was really fun. A lot of stuff happened. If you have a call in, which we will have today, uh, coming on DLive or coming, I'll, yeah, okay, tell some stories. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sometimes my patience can be funny. Faffy Day in the chit chat. Faffy Day. <laughs> nice to see you, Faffy Day. Good to see you back there. Hi, Faffy, everyone's saying. Uh, how you all doing? Yeah, doing, yeah. Ice creams, good morning, afternoon. Hendrix in the chit chat. G'day, Hendrick. Welcome back to the Gives a Minute D live stream. You know what the trouble is? I've got too similar an approach for YouTube and DLive. I've got, I have to separate this in my demented mind. G'day, Hendrick. Welcome back to the Gives It. And before I've even known it, I've said DLive. All right, so, no, so from here on in, only cheeses on the YouTube stream for a donation. No cheeses when you come in because that's how I start to get into my spiel, the mode of delivery, and that's where I mess up. Nice to see you, Hendrik. That's what maybe that's what we do. Nice to see you, Hendrik. Tim Arskog in the house. Nice to see you, Tim. This is stupid. Nice to see you. Get out of here. Travel Jet Setter. Good to see you, man. Tiger in the house. Hello. Good to see you back. Nice to have you back here. Travel Jet Setter. Everyone chit chatting. I sent you a Facebook mess mess today. I sent you a Facebook message yesterday. Okay. I don't really use Facebook too much, but I will check into it. I uh, hope Benon, Benon gets fired up. He does. He does get fired up. Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. Wow, where are we going? Wow, man, I've missed a lot of chit chat. Sorry, folks. I'm getting getting ready to this. I'm getting ready to this. I'm getting closer to the bottom of the chat. Uh, I'll set my alarm in case I doze off for the for the D live. Yep, no worries. Hey, Mindy. Adrian Banks in the house. Hello, Adrian. Welcome back to the Gives a Minute YouTube stream. Nice to have you here and family. Hello. The Banks. Can I say the Banks? The Bankses. Um, Adrian Banks is saying everyone's saying hello. Charlotte Rose, Hendrik Eber, Travel Jet Setter. Hopefully going to do a couple of nights at a holiday haven, Colbara Beach in the school holidays. That's right at the end of the street here. Dude. Well, def definitely do that and then come here and we'll have, we'll have you on the stream, man. That'll be fun, dude. Yeah. Holiday haven. Yeah, cool, man. Um, make, just let me know when. Let me know when. If, if Whenever you get it booked, let me know. Benny Crawford, Charla Rose. Uh, say D-Live a lot, Ben. On Danny has to do a shot. Oh, that's right. Was that... I could... See, when Danny was saying that last night on his D-Live stream, did I mention I've got a D-Live channel? I just put it in the chat. If you haven't seen it, it's in the chat. Um, Danny was saying... I think I was... I think he was getting confused because he was saying... When I stream, which is, I'm thinking he was referring, well, he was, he was talking about the YouTube stream. 
When I stream today, whenever I mention DLive, he said he'll take a shot because he'll be coming back from a gig. It's it's not even 9 a.m. in in Queensland. It's like it's half an hour behind. A half an hour. Sorry, it's half an hour ahead of us. Has he had a morning gig and he's going to have morning shots? I think he might have been getting confused about that. I, maybe he he might have been thinking that my YouTube streams at night. I, I don't I don't I didn't get that when he was saying that. I didn't get a lot of things he was saying last night about the the Jay situation. Just going to be clear. Um, yeah, we did have a, a, a chit chat. I mean, look, look, we all know what I feel about the situation with CreatorCast. That ended because of what Jay did. Jay didn't like what I did, and that ended CreatorCast. Now, Danny will pitch a different side of that story, and I don't, I don't know how that got confused or how that got muddled up. Last night, Danny did say something in his stream. He said, oh, it's not that what Jay did. It's something else before that. Uh, something to do with somebody else, and he alluded to someone we don't want to talk about. I'm going to say he meant Nicholas Cole. I don't know what that is in relation to, but Danny might have to explain that to me personally because that if that's the reason that he left CreatorCast, that's the first I've ever heard of it. So, But I got, I got to say, I enjoyed his stream last night. Um, the music playing and the interaction and the chat, it, it, it's, really, it's really cool to see the givers and Danny's fanatics, networks, AVA, whatever, I'm not even sure what Danny's crew is called, but it was so good to see all of them in the D-Live, mixed in, in support of him, and enjoying the tune, you know, like he's playing guitar, and, and he had, he's got a, a strange sync issue going on, I'm not I'm not so sure what that sync problem is, I don't know, I've never seen anything like that on D-Live, I, at first I thought it might have been me when I was hosting him, but from what I've seen, it's clearly... Steak? Him. And he's still tight for steak. Steak? Mayonnaise, wow. <laughs> Adrian, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> it's just not the same, is it? I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. My Eunice! Wow! <laughs> it, does, it just doesn't have that same ring when it's written as and it's text-to-speech, but I appreciate that, man. Um, now you've got me off the train of thought. Choo-choo-choo-choo. It, yeah, it's beautiful to see everyone coming across and supporting. And Danny, uh, yeah, the sink issue. If he fixes the sink issue and he, his his uh, Tidy Lab stuff is way too big for his stream and he hasn't got it set up correctly yet, but it, it's a proof of concept. And I mean, he's already hitting about 80 followers or something. So it, th this is great. Like, this is great. In terms of CreatorCast, I'd love to have CreatorCast back on YouTube. I'm, I've, that's that's a given. I'd have I'd have the four of us back having weekly live chats this week. But to get there has to be some conversation between Jay and I. And Jay has to some, somehow come to some resolution in his own mind that I can disagree with him. And that doesn't change A, a friendship and B, content. But I don't think Jay can get past that. I don't agree with his method. I don't agree with what he did and what he continues to do. That doesn't mean we can't have creator cast. But now there's this other element, and Danny said that there was something else is the reason he left creator cast. I, I, like I said, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything about that. I just know that our communication between Danny and I plummeted to pretty much nothing once creator cast ended. And it's only been the last month or so that we've sort of rekindled whatever, some kind of communication. And most of it's been through live streams, which is. But then again, Hendrik, last night you were saying, oh, maybe you and Danny should have this chat privately. I'm like, dude, we just watched. Danny Danny just rolled a video of literally the first time we met and it was all filmed and put onto YouTube. The first time we physically met was live, was not live, was on a YouTube video. So what, We all of a sudden we take this offline? No, we're, we're an online couple. We met online. We live online. We can fight online. Can't we resolve things online? Just say. <laughs> um, and now I've gotten way off track. Banksy. Banksy. I like Banksy. Charlotte Rose. Been a colloquial. Yeah. Okay. And I'm reading the chat. Um, I will to bet on. Keep company. Okay. Thanks, uh, Travel Jet Setter. You're saying you're going to be on the uh, DLive chat too. Great. Great. Uh, okay. Cool. Saw that. Uh, say DLive a lot. Yeah. Danny has to do a shot. Yeah. I don't understand the shot thing, but if he's taking shots in the morning, Go for it. I'm, I'm all for that. Is Yeet... Yeet is Fortnite slang, Shyla Rose? Are you serious? It's Fortnite slang? I did not know that. Irresputable, def, def, definite and certain. 
Is that what I said? Did I? Okay. When I said the word irresputable, I, I clarified it. It's a definite and a certain thing. Okay. Yeah, put that in the... Uh, we should start making a, a, a Gives a Minute dictionary. <laughs> the dictionary called to, according to Gives a Minute. It's Labor Day weekend, a US holiday here next week. Oh, great. Happy Labor. Push those babies out. If it was in four days, I would say I'm going to work on Tuesday. Because it's not preceded by another Tuesday. If it was in four days, I'd, I would say I'm going to work on Tuesday because it's not preceded by any other Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. The next, the, the next anything is the next anything, not the one after the next anything. I'm just, just saying. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll get fired up if you want me to. Fire it up, Charlotte. Faffy day. Shoot, I'm late. You're not late, man. You're not late. Uh, what are you staring at, Hendrik? Uh, Mexican, you just made up a new word. I'm making up words all over the place here. Okay, I'm getting to the bottom of the chat here, folks. What are you staring at? Don't use yeet. Don't know that word. Okay, Benny. Good. In some societies, giving someone a thumbs up is a gesture for saying up your ass. Okay. My goodness. What's What society is that, Tim? I've never, never thought that. I thought he was, Hendrik says, I thought he was going to do it after his gig tonight. Therefore, when Benin does his 2 a.m. deal. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. That that might be it, Hendrik. But that's kind of confusing because I don't really mention, I don't really say, oh, no, of course I say the word D-Live. Everyone gets a cheers when they join the Gives a Minute D-Live. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I th When he was saying whenever I mentioned the D-Live, I thought he was saying when I mentioned it here on YouTube. But that... That makes pure sense, of course. Okay, that, that's cool. Yeah, okay, well, cool. Uh, uh, two, at 2 a.m. tonight. Oh, that's going to be cool. Maybe, yeah, we'll have Danny on as well, I guess, in the in the chat. Great. Don't want to ruin your larynx. Set your alarm and grab detox juice for tonight, Hendrik. Yeah, that's true. What's detox juice? Okay, cool. I think mostly wine. <laughs> uh, check my liver. I need to sneak in some wine tonight. Been dry since Tuesday. Since which Tuesday? Which, which Tuesday, Hendrik? The last one or the one before the last one? <laughs> Travel Jet Setter. Hey, Mindy, I know you're excited about San Diego. You better live your best good life in San Diego. Well, that's the chat there, folks. Now, I'll give you guys some chat action as well if you want to see that on the screen. I appreciate this conversation. And like I said last week, I know... Um, uh, was it Raw Gozier? Uh, oh, no, Newly Awakened said, um, get to the conversation, get to this discussion topic. And, and my answer was, I really love this concept of, of being live and chatting and seeing the actual you know like I do this we're both givers and this is a this is a two-way street right this is the live thing is the most two-way we can get here I can talk to you you can talk back in a nine second delay and whoever's in the chat first it's brilliant you know like we we don't have this in any other way unless I physically rang all of you on the different phone and called and talked we're basically doing a massive group phone call if you like and that's why I want to give a lot of time to the chat. That's why I go back and read it all on the stream. We've got time here, you know. Time is what we have. We have long format streams now, so we can do we can delve into things, we can we can dig deep and we can enjoy each other's company and we can enjoy each other's chit chats. That's what I want to do. I'll tell you what though, the topic of conversation about banks did come out of my what are we gonna call it? Well, there's been a frustration of late with me and streaming from Steve Ann, right? We all know what's going on with this, the live stream from the vehicle with the Amazon affiliates. That being said, there is a small update to Steve Ann, and I want to give you the pleasure of that right now. Welcome to episode 31 of Outdoor Man, Man with the Van. <laughs> Amazon affiliates have paid out. Now what has to happen is my bank has to clear the check. And I've been told that takes between four to five weeks. So we're still gonna be waiting here until I can purchase the Mac Mini to start streaming from Steven. But I do have to do one thing. My tire is bald. This is a concern here. Got a spare on here. You can see it in the back there, right? That's got a lot more tread. I'm gonna take the spare off and swap it for that front right tire. Now this is something that uh, I should be able to do, right? Looks like there's one, come over here, come here. It looks like there is one 
hitch point here. It's like this thing here. I gotta get that out, probably from the top here. Ah, yeah, there you go. I gotta loosen that thing. Let's get this off, put that one on, and tighten those wheel lugs. What the hell? Why won't this come off? That should just come off, right? Far out, man. I hate cars, I'm just putting this out there. I've taken all the wheel lugs off. The wheel won't come off. I don't even know if this is moving. I'm just putting this out there. I hate this. I absolutely hate this crap. Put me in front of a computer, put me in front of a live stream, anything tech, yay. This kind of crap, I cannot, I cannot stand this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All wheel lugs are off. The bloody wheel won't come off. It almost fell off when I was driving once. How come I can't take it off? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? I've used some WD-40, sprayed it in the insides. Then I went to town with this guy, smacking it as hard as I could. And now it's, as you can see, it's loose. So, man, just so frustrating. All right, let's put the other one on. And that's how you change a spare tire. I think I've done the wrong thing buying this vehicle. My plan was to do the streaming right, and we haven't done it yet. We've recently paid for another 12 months rego, so I'm gonna own this car for another 12 months from now. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna sell it. Once we start streaming and we get up and, and running with it, I'm gonna enjoy it. April next year, I'm gonna have to make a decision. Take the streaming computer and do IRL walking streams instead of driving. Who knows, we'll decide then. While I sit down and think about that, you guys can go back to the live stream. <laughs> say I mean if we if we did want to get together I guess I could come and see you I mean yeah like next Tuesday or something is that good for you yeah yeah no next Tuesday works wait you mean wait a sec wait a sec do you mean the one coming or the one after the one coming next well then why didn't you say that you said next Tuesday right you did so that means not this one that means the one after what is wrong with you don't get angry with me. No, 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 oh, come on, look. Be, be real, be reasonable here. Either it's this one, or it's the next one. Which one is it? Yeah, okay, then, okay, then let's just cancel it. Let's leave it there, okay? Far out, unbelievable. Right, am I right or am I right? That's not worth it. I'll go to the next girl and swipe right. The next girl. <laughs> All right, I'm being silly. Uh, okay, so back up into the chit chat. Uh, Jets Jetta, okay, going good. What? Uh, JD Tennessee Fire has an odd flavor. Yeah, it's it's a real um, it's a real bite, isn't it? The JD Fire. It's it's beautiful. We actually had so the first time I ever had it here was on the stream. Um, but then I went to a party uh, with Marty, his partner Stacy's fortieth. And someone brought a bottle of it and we drank it all that night uh, between me and Marty and, and Stacy. And it was just, just necking it like shot after shot after shot. It was insane. Getting new tires, you always get talked into a wheel alignment. Steak? Money's too tight for steak. Steak? Oh, thanks for the super chat. Happy day. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear the text to speech being read out. Cheers. That's what we do a chat, uh, super chat cheers, don't we? Super chat cheers on the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. Thank you for the super chat, Fappy Day, I appreciate it. You d I'll read it out, it said, hey buddy, you deserve it, smiley face. I'm not sure why I didn't read that out though, because it read out the other ones. Pretty, pretty strange, but I appreciate the gesture, thank you very much. Um, Tad Tiger says, you showed us your fishing gear a while back, you should go now, there is a lot of salmon around. I still haven't used the fishing gear, and I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm not really a fisherman. I don't even know why I bought that stuff. It's just sitting It's sitting on my closet getting dusty, you know? I don't know, maybe, maybe yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Traditional trumpet, yeah. <laughs> Mindy, girl, you shouldn't laughing about this, but I came across a video of these two deaf girls arguing about a Facebook post. 
Okay. Uh, you're getting new tires. You always get talked into a wheel alignment. Well, I haven't got new tires. Killing me. Pull hard along. WD40. Dude, that like, I, I got to say, I was, I was mad when that wheel wouldn't come off. I was like, this fucking wheel almost fell off when I was driving. It came off by its own accord when I was driving. And now I can't even get that thing off. I was like, what, what is, why does, why does this stuff happen to me? Is what I was thinking. Like, why, why does, and you know what it is? I bought, I bought an old vehicle. You, you got to expect that, man. It's an old vehicle. It's not really, what did, what did you expect? You bought a 20 year old vehicle. Of course there's going to be issues with it. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking though, I'll do it. I'll do a year of uh, streaming from Steven. Um, depending on how it all goes, of course, and then I will probably sell it and do something else. I don't, I don't know. If she's worth it, she'd say every Tuesday, not this before oh, the next Tim. Yep, yep. It's cinnamon. The the fire flavor is the cinnamon. Of of course, yeah. It's a it's a bitey, cinnamony, donutty, shopping molly Sunday morning experience. It's beautiful. Really, really nice. It's far too easy to sink. It's really tasty. No problem. Thanks, Faffy Day. Um, you track down some red dog, Adrian. Wicked man, wicked dude. Yeah, yeah. You can you can probably still find red dog, and you might be able to find um, um, white rabbit saloon. That's going to be harder to track down the white rabbit. I've I've got my got my two bottles, but it's going to be more difficult to find white rabbit. Red dog is easier to find. The other one that's kind of hard to find is the one sixtieth. That's a really sexy bottle though. A, a matte black bottle with red labeling. It looks awesome. I've got one of those. I've got to find another one. Ben on. It's not the vehicle's age giving you dramas. It's, it, it's not. It feels like it. It's certainly not me, is it? So that does open up the conversational topic for today's stream. It's taken me this long to get to where I am now, and I still haven't got the Mac Mini that I can stream from. This laptop isn't powerful enough to stream with. I have to buy a secondary laptop, a secondary computer for the vehicle, and I'm going to buy a Mac Mini because it is headless. You don't need a mon you don't need a monitor, you don't need a mouse, you don't need a keyboard. Of course, you can use all that, and I'll I'll run a little HDMI monitor for it for, for what I need. But uh, so the money that I was going to spend on that was coming from Amazon affiliate links. Now I've mentioned this already a few times, but what happened was, if you so it's now the end of August. At the beginning of July, at the beginning of June, I said I would like my Amazon affiliates paid out. You go into the Amazon affiliates portal or whatever the your account, and you say um, request payment. And so, if if you're in America, that'd be an overnight thing, or possibly even an on the spot thing. They'd just give you the money into your bank account. But because I'm international, they have to send out a check, and for some reason. And this is what the topic of discussion is. Why is this reason? They don't do it for you on the spot. They wait two months. So if you request in June, you don't see it until August. So all of June's gone, all of July's gone, and the 1st of August is when you receive it. Okay. That's their terms. That's Amazon's terms. Okay. Well, I'd wait two months. So we waited the two months. And you, you might have seen there was me, no conversation about Steve Ann, no conversation about streaming from Steve Ann. I just left it. I did almost just like put a suspension on it, if you like, and just said, I'm not going to mention it to the givers because there's nothing to mention. There was no outdoor man with a van, just left it. The check arrived. I'm like, cool, cool. This is what it looked like. This is a, a photocopy of the check. So I went to my bank, ANZ Bank, Australia and New Zealand Bank. Can I deposit this check? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's an international check from Amazon Services LLC in Seattle. Okay, um, so fill out all this paperwork, all this crap, uh, and then uh, we will uh, submit this to the head office and they will cash the check for you. Okay, cool. Oh, oh sir, um, just to let you know, there will be a between four to five week processing turnaround for this. And I was like, what? Why? What? Four to five weeks. What are you? What are you doing? Like what? What is it? What? It, I was I was genuinely baffled. I, I, I was like, okay, first of all, I've waited two months to get this thing from Amazon. I don't understand that either. But that's Amazon. That's the that's their rule. That's their game. That's it's their park. They can choose the rules. Okay, I waited for that. Then when I've 
I want to give, I want to give the bank the money. And they're saying there's a four to five week wait for that. And I said to her, are you like, why? What are, what are you physically doing in four to five weeks with my check? I was like, I... That was the sound of the cogs in my brain as they were ticking over. What the hell are they? I've got to get some WD-40 on that as well. I was, I was genuinely, genuinely interested to know what they're doing with, with that time. Um, she, she kept saying, she, she, she acknowledged defeat. She said, look, I don't really know what, what they do, but I just know that the paperwork is, is detailed. If you can consider that detailed paperwork. Uh, and because it's an international check, it's got to go to head office. I was like, okay, okay. Um, this, this is called a lodgement letter. All checks, drafts, etc., payable overseas and foreign currency item payable at other local banks only to be used for ANZ account holders and paid into ANZ accounts. Um, so I said, okay, I understand that you maybe you can't do that here in this particular branch, but okay, so it's got to go to head office. Um, okay, uh, send it to head office. That'll take a day maximum, maybe two days if, if you just use regular mail. You've probably got an internal mail between offices system, you know, whatever, a day, two, whatever, two days. Um, then, then I said, shouldn't it just be a case of depositing it, doing the currency conversion and sending it to me and putting it in my account, not even sending it to me, just just adding the funds. And she's like, well, sir, uh, because it's an international, and she kept saying this word, it's an international check. I'm like, your bank is called ANZ, Australia and New Zealand. You're already an international bank. You're dealing with international currency and you're a bank for fuck's sake. And I looked, I looked past her, I was like, Excuse me, ma'am. What's 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 behind you there? And she turned back around. And I'm like, see that big square box thing? That's a computer, right? Aren't, isn't that connected to the the global internet? Isn't that online? Aren't you <laughs> mobile banking? That there connects you to the freaking world with the click of your fingers, and you don't have to have any any wait period. What like you? I I I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I I don't understand it. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I believe. This is, this is what I believe in, in, in my heart. They're taking your money, in this case, my money, and holding it to earn the interest on it for their own sake. Now, there's also a fee for this. For, for me to cash this check into my account, there's a fee. So not only are they charging you to give them money. So get, get the... Are you understanding the transaction here? I am giving money to them into their coffers they're charging me for that privilege and not only that oh what a time not to have a pocket they're putting it in their pocket for four to five weeks just cashing that interest in ba -boom. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. the heart beating is the example of money entering into their coffers you see what i'm saying so they they're they're scamming you and they're charging you for it and i, I was like what a world we live in huh what an age we live in when we're supposed to have these all like there's all this stuff like you see it all the time in the news open borders and um no everybody's the same we're all one race we're all one species and on the one hand that all sounds beautiful and lovely how next door neighbor can be the same as me and it's it's almost like communism right where i make uh i make a product here a, a bottle of a glass of water and even though this 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 water comes from like you know the himalayas and the water is filtered through eight layers of sugar maple <laughs> uh this can only be sold at the same cost as my next door neighbor who makes the same water it's it you know what i'm saying it's it's it, it feels like com like communism. It feels like the bank is is raking you over the coals. And if you if you think differently and if you ask why, oh well, sir, it's international. But don't we have open borders and everyone like it's one world and it's a global policy and we're international. You know, there's 
the European Union and there's the like what when does it why does it stop being one world and why do we all stop being one people when it comes down to money and people earning like a bank a bank earning money off yourself that's that's the question like when did all this lodgement for an international check begin and when does it stop uh, on the same token in the chat adrian was talking about trying to find a bottle of red dog saloon um jack daniels and i mentioned the the um white rabbit saloon and this guy behind me right this winter jack it's it it, it sounds illogical for me to try to compare these and bring these all together but the fact that that's only available in America and it's not available in Australia, that tells me we don't have one world. We don't have, we're not all the same. Your, what you can get in your local store isn't what I can get in my local store. So we're not equal. We're, we're completely separated. Yet on the one hand, the, everybody's pitching this idea, you know, a, a multicultural, one world, one race, but there's so many divides. And if you start to question it and you say, why is it taking me so long to get my check? Ah, oh, it's because it's an internet. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't... I don't think I'm far off some kind of logical point here. Like I know it, it's coming across maybe a little convoluted and maybe it's sort of sounding a bit bit strange to hear it to hear me speaking this way, but it is confusing. It's like I'm tr I'm trying to be as diplomatic about it and I'm trying to be as logical about it, but I just can't work it out. I I just can't work it out. Like to start off with, why does why does Amazon have a policy where if you're not in America, we can't put money into... They they can't just put this money into my account. I don't know why. I don't know why. They can send... So the, the notion of a, of a check is strange, right? It's like... What did Jerry Seinfeld say? It's like, it's like a note from your mum saying, well, my son has the money... I can vouch for it by giving you a bit of paper with my signature on it telling you how much money they have for you. This isn't the money, but there's proof that he has the money. I'll sign it and I'll even write on the back, don't worry, it's uh, not negotiable. It's there. So the uh, the idea of uh, this is the money, it's already a strange concept. Like, just give me the money like you give the money to an American citizen. What do, Aren't we all one race here? Aren't we all one people? But I can't get the money from Amazon, but an American person... It's easy, it's easy enough for me to sign up to Amazon affiliates as someone from Australia, just like it is for someone in America. It's the same process. So why is the payment different if we all live on the one global flat earth, right? You hear what I'm saying? Like, I, maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong here. Maybe I deserve a big fat slap across the face for even like trying to visualize this concept. But I, I struggle, I struggle with this kind of thing daily and it's not until you start questioning it that you, you, you get some kind of resolve. Like I, I don't pretend to have the answers. I just know it's taking me five weeks to get the, the payment. So that's why I haven't been able to stream from Steve Ann because I don't have the money. I don't have the cash up front to buy a Mac Mini. So there's that. Now look, <laughs> if you think I'm a complete nut and you want to call in and tell me that, in the chat is the Discord line. I'm just going to open up the Discord myself and jump in there to the call-in line. So I'm in that call-in line now. If you do want to jump jump in and call in, hit that link up and I will put you online on the air. Don't worry, it'll be instantaneous because we're on the one global planet here. And on the Gives A Minute YouTube stream, we're equal here. We're all the same. So the call-in line is now open if you do want to call in. Now, let me just peruse the chat while that happens and we someone might call in. So, shh. All right, I've missed a hell of a lot of chat. Here we go. Uh, I just did. Ben on, it's not the vehicle. Okay, we saw that. Message retracted. Woo, travel jet setter. What did you say? What did you say? The bank should have offered you an option to speed up clearance of that check. I worked at ANZ for 10 years. Uh, well, Adrian, um, the other... the. This comes back down to Seinfeld, right? The other, the other, um, cool, we got a volume. The other thing you said, the bank should have offered you an option to speed up clearance of that check. Well, if they can go fast some of the time, just go fast all the time. Didn't Seinfeld say that? Uh, maybe it was Larry David on Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's in a plane. He's like, and uh, attention passengers, we're uh, going to make up uh, 25 minutes. We're coming into our landing at Detroit slightly behind schedule. So for the next for the next 35 minutes, the captain has authorized a seatbelt sign 
to be put on while we speed up and try to make up those 25. And, he, and he's like, if you can go fast some of the time, just go fast all the time and don't tell us. Just if the bank can offer you an option to speed up clearance of that check, just do that. That's that. I Isn't that the service? Like, <laughs> do, do I... Do I come across as wrong? Do I come across as an idiot, an imbecile? Or is that just a logical conclusion? I see Travel Jet said it joined. Uh, we'll just wait to see. He often has mic issues, but we'll see. Hello. Oh, there he is straight hey, away. Hey. Travel Jet said it. How you going, hey. man? <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I didn't have to do no resets and all that, right? Nice to have you on the chat, Hold man. On, I got to mute the stream. Yeah, Hold mute the, on, mute the stream. I'll one. keep reading the chat while you do that. Uh, Adrian, I want to ask you a question, Adrian. You worked at ANZ. So when I, remember I showed you the video of my breakup in New Zealand? Well, before Shelly and I moved to New Zealand, I had an ANZ account that I opened up in Perth. Hey, Mindy girl. And the idea behind hey. that was that the account I'd open specifically so that when we got to New Zealand, we could withdraw money. And when I got to, um, no, I went into the bank in, in, in Sydney and said, what do I have to do to make sure we can just withdraw this when we get to New Zealand? And the woman said, and Adrian, you'll, you'll know this because you work there. The woman said, uh, unfortunately, so you'll have to open up another account when you get to New Zealand. And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? A N Z. The name of your bank is Australia and New Zealand Bank. And you're telling me that this card won't work when I get there? What on? And that was in 2000. I, st I still don't understand how or why that shit happens. <laughs> So there you go. Sorry, guys. Mindy, welcome to the Gives a Minute YouTube chat. How are you going? Good. Very good. I see Benny12C in the in the call-in too, but he hasn't got a microphone, so maybe he'll be just listening only. Uh, guys, do I do I come across as a nutter, or is this a fair question to be asking? <laughs> oh, it's very fair. Um, in the U.S. No, that's, to, yeah. In the U.S., if I was to receive a check, as long as it was under $5,000, from Australia, um, it would only take my bank three to four business days to clear it. Okay, okay. I and, have, I have to. I know that. Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I know that that's a fact because um, Celeste, my little sister, is a, a manager at a bank here, and uh, and she said that's their policy. And the reason, the only reason it takes three to four days is because there's a it's a third party that's used to clear international checks. So the banks do not talk to each other. There's a third party that each bank talks to um, and that third party verifies it for both sides. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense if, if there's a third party stepping in and that's why there's a, a slight delay. I've got to be clear as well, I didn't mention this, but she, she did say that um, you, you mentioned, Mindy, that uh, if it's between, no, if it's over 5,000 uh, international currency, she said to me, if if your check is over, what did she say? I think she said if it's over 2,000, uh, no, I can't recall the number, but she said if it's over a certain amount, it'll be longer. And I, <laughs> again, I was kind of baffled. I was like, so the more money we want to give you, the longer you hold it for? Is, is, that, is that the equation I'm seeing here? More interest, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep, more interest. Go ahead, Travel Jet Setter. What, um, what did you have to say? Okay, so I can kind of vouch for what Mindy is saying because I know that um, one of the um, I don't know if you heard of Chase Bank. I think it's just an it's just an American thing. I've heard of them, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So everything Mindy just said it also it's mm -hmm. it's the same way with Chase Bank because I know when I. I bank with Chase Bank, and um, when I get paid for my job, um, it takes maybe f four days for me to get my funds because they put it directly into um, my um, checking account. Right, right. So a four-day turnaround. And, it's, and, it's, and yeah, it's like a four-day turnaround. And um, you know, since since I'm working in the U.S. Um, you know that's why it takes so long and i'm again i'm assuming when it comes to like international stuff i really don't know too much about all that stuff well, but hey travel you know. jet said i don't mean to uh sorry to interrupt you but yeah um are you saying that the bank 
you are you don't have access to your funds on the day that that check is deposited from no from your work no no <laughs> it takes three to four two to three to four days for the check to clear and you, and you know you what's know, going on chase, that's how chase operates yeah you, know, know. you should change your bank totally, bank totally. Of yeah, that's America, what i'm going to do yeah bank of america you get it right then and there i mean i use commerce bank which is kind of a midwestern bank i get it yeah, the I, second it's yeah. deposited what i'm what i'm hearing here folks and i guess this is this is a, a global thing oddly enough it sounds like no matter what the equation is or what the transaction is, there's always a period of, of wait, whether that be, in my case, four to five weeks, in Travel Jet Setter's case, four to five days. Mindy's got almost instantaneous. Those banks that are doing this wait period are obviously putting that money into a separate account and earning the interest off it. That's, that's the... Exactly. Yeah, and, and as yeah, we see... I'm switching banks. I am definitely switching banks because... I'm not too pleased with Chase Bank and how they be doing me. Sure. When it comes to my money, that that's yeah. something I don't I don't play with when it comes to my money, and I don't appreciate it having to be waiting like four days to get access to my money. Hold on a sec. Hold, okay. hold on a sec, guys. I, I missed a comment from Adrian Banks, which is pretty important. I think he said uh, when I was in the bank when he was in the banking industry, an overseas an overseas check did literally have to be mailed back to its origin for clearance. I'd expect it to be more straightforward now with the internet. Is that what's happening now, do you think, Adrian? They physic because I, I made a joke to the woman. I said, I said, when she said four to five weeks, I said, what are you, what are you doing? Are you flying this check back to the States? Like, is that what a courier is that an international courier's job? You physically take the check <laughs> into right. what is it? What bank is it here? It's the bloody Amazon Services LLC PO Box 80683. Do you literally? Oh, Wells Fargo Bank, Hospital Drive, Van Wert. Do you physically go in there and take that check back in and say, um, "You sent this to Australia. I've returned it. Um, can you give me <laughs> like what what, what, what? what kind of mentality is this? And who, who's make like? Not only does the postal service make a mint off that from back and forward mailings, but the airlines make a like if you got to physically, it just doesn't compute. It doesn't compute. But nice to add that. No, Adrian. I'm sure. I'm sure they scan it in and they send it over a computer and they send it to that third yeah. party. They don't even verify with each other as banks. You oh, okay. So it just goes to that third party and then that's their job to verify it and send it back. Yeah. Yeah. You know what would be easier if this didn't exist? If if Amazon just said, "Okay, uh, here, here's your payment into your bank." Done. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> what, what, seriously? The, the check. The concept of a check. It just seems so dated. Like, who even has a checkbook? The did, Mindy, do you have a checkbook? I I do have a checkbook, but I haven't I haven't used a check in I don't know, years. I, I, I feel like there's something here. I Neither feel like I I, I want to do. I'd like to do a social experiment where I go to a bank and and ask for can I get a checking account and with a checkbook and then for the next month I literally pay for everything with a check. I'll go into a cafe to get a takeaway coffee. I'll sit down there and write them a check, pull it out of the book, <laughs> hand them the check. And uh, do you want cream with? Oh, yeah, cream. Add an extra 30 cents to the check. Turn it over. Not negotiable. <laughs> Rip it out of the book and give it across. <laughs> you, you, they wouldn't let you, hey? They wouldn't let you do that. I'm sure. I'm sure they No wouldn't. way. No way. No. No. And uh, Tim, Tim says, Ben, on next time you'll be asking why overseas corporations who do business and make profits in Australia pay no tax in Australia. Well, there's the big there's the big Apple discussion about that, isn't it? That's 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 kind of a, an argument going on in in the states, isn't it? Apple not paying taxes in certain con uh, certain countries. Oh, Apple yeah. well, can that's... kiss my ass. Sorry, but <laughs> Apple can kiss my natural ass. <laughs> Your natural ass. Fuck Apple. Okay, that's okay. All I gotta say, sorry. Well, we're, we're on YouTube Apple. here. Well, uh, language. We're on YouTube. Sorry. We're not on D Live. <laughs> <laughs> Apple is um, no different than any other large corporation in America. They they uh, are able to um, use the tax guidelines for uh, corporations to uh, make it so that they don't have to pay taxes. They pay, um, you know, it, and America does that is the trickle down economic structure. And it means that, oh, well, if we give these companies a break and they have a bigger profit, they will hire more people in our country. Ah. Um, but but it doesn't work. No. They're going to be in this country regardless. And 
it's it's a faulty system and it's been proven faulty but they still do it wow i mean back back on this check thing it someone suggested to me on i think it was on dlive someone said it would be quicker if you could specify someone in the states to have this check mailed to so let's just say mindy for instance i i put your address on my amazon affiliates and the check mm -hmm. is made out to your name and you get it within two days through the postal service and then you go and cash it and then you just send that money through you know paypal or whatever to me that that transaction will be over and done within a couple of days maximum um but the way that that would have to work would be i'd have to prove my identity is to two identities i'd have to have my name and my residential address in australia and then also somehow have another name mindy and a residential address <laughs> in the states so you know it's kind of kind of hard to do right. almost impossible to do yeah. yeah it's just nuts it is it doesn't it's make crazy. sense at all yeah but some someone's got the money somewhere and then they're, they're they're making coin off that off that coin if you yeah, like yeah they're making bank off of that of course they're making yeah. bank off of that like come on now we ain't dumb we're not we're not we're not we're not slow and delayed that's right we know we're, we're making them we know they're making bank off of that hey speaking of making bank um travel jet setter how did you go with your job hunting down there in um oh my god yeah um i um it went well um i went for my interview and um they um just interviewed me for an hour and they uh asking questions you know about my work experience uh, why do i want to work with this company okay um why do you think we you know you should work for this company and just other crap load of questions and you know had a one-on-one -on -one discussion with them and that was that and and you I, haven't heard from them um i will hear from them next week Oh, okay. Well, fingers Good. crossed for you, man. Um, thanks, Stephen. Yeah, it's been for the nearly nice... like three weeks, but yeah, we'll we'll see. I just want to say thanks to Stephen in in the chat. Uh, this is an, this is amazing. I, I appreciate you guys all enjoying the, the conversation. It's a it's a topic that I didn't. It's a great conversation. Great yeah, topic. I, I mean, feel like it is. I feel like it's banks, a. It, and and I just you know even you know I just wanted to sort of, um um um. Re, um, to relay on what you were just saying just now about as, as we're all a human race, we are all a human race. But I'm, and I said this in the chat, like you know, but when it comes to America, you know, America is very, you know, close. Just they, they, they're, they're about their America is about their traditions and. And, and and you know making sure er, making sure everything is about America and they don't see outside of the box right and you know it's just that is that mentality that America has and been having for years you yeah. know well so this is this is not new and you know even where I in, in Milwaukee, where I live, you know, I'm just even talking outside about like like banks and exporting and importing and stuff. It's just, um, you know, where I live is it's very it's very segregated. Right. I guess you the know, the other it's question very I've got segregated where I live. A Amazon and um, Mindy, you're near St. Louis, so you already know what time it is in St. Louis. Well, I tell you, um, actually. I, I'd have to argue that point, Jet Setter. Um, in my experience, now there's there's still some segregated areas. If a person wants to be segregated, they can be segregated. Uh, but um, it's really well mixed. Um, even in my little college town where I live, it's very well. Uh, oh yeah, kinda... my my yeah yeah I yep I know of the college town where you live. My sister from. A previous marriage mother she lives there she lives there um in but Columbia, yeah I, th Missouri. I, th I think as far as yeah. that goes things are uh really well mixed i tell you at least we can get a uh international check cash in about four days <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm, je right? I'm jealous of that the, the other question i've got or the other um uh, point that i've got which i don't understand amazon being a u.s-based entity 
but having um, presence and branches and and locations internationally to, to begin with, it's kind of even more confusing because as an Amazon affiliate, I have I have an so I have an Amazon US an Amazon.com. I have an Amazon.co.uk. I have an Amazon.de for Germany. I have an Amazon.com.au for Australia, and I have an Amazon.ca for Canada. So all of those um, all of those separate separate Amazon accounts all pay into the US one. But then when it comes time to paying out, why can't the US talk to the Australian one and say, okay, this this creator is based in Australia, so take the funds from the from the US, dump them into the Aussie one and pay it out into a local bank. I don't I don't see Yeah, I mean but yeah. when it comes when it comes to US trade and all that other stuff, you know, it's like what I said earlier. It's like it's all about the American brand or the American. Yes, but they want but to they it. they are internationally based as well, so they they yes, have a registered. But that doesn't. But that doesn't. But that doesn't mean anything though. And well, they, it... and their and these companies' minds here in the United States, that don't mean that don't mean jack crap. And their mindset. It could, it could well, be the thing is that company. The corporation isn't determining that. The corporation, the American corporation, has chosen an American bank, which is, you know, of course they would. It makes it in easier interactions for them. It's that yeah. bank that they use, um, and the banks can just make us twist in the wind because we have no other options. Exactly. There's exactly. no right. competition. Yeah, they deliberately. You know? Yeah, they. Yeah, they deliberately. They deliberately chose that American bank that you just said for every because of everything i just said they deliver because i guarantee you and that the um benny got a good comment the, venom's bank already has the money from amazon yeah 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 totally that would have that would have been that's the thing with a check the money would already be there this this is just like a notice to say here it is um this isn't actually it but it's already in the account so thank you hendrick thank you i just read a comment with hendrick just said um, um, he said, no, Tim Arstall is not, is not just Trump. It always been like that. Like I just said earlier, America has always been like this. Okay. This is not new. This has been going on for years. I did like Benny Crawford's country. comment. Uh, for uh, years. Uh, he says, go into an Amazon shop and see if they'll cash the check. I mean, there's that other, <laughs> that other option, which someone Andrew suggested to me, I should have, instead of getting money, like real cold, hard cash, I should have used the Amazon. Right. Um, Amazon affiliates to pay out in Amazon coin or whatever it is, Amazon store credit, and then bought the Mac mini on the Amazon store. Now, if I had done that, I guarantee it would already be here and it'd be done like like this, like the click of a finger. Oh, there's your Amazon money. Oh, you already spent it on a Mac mini. We'll ship it to you the next day. Expedited shipping. You get it already, you know? It's like, yep. yeah. In hindsight, that's probably what I should have done, right? Yeah. Well, then you and you could have just allocated enough money to buy the laptop and gotten the rest in cash and just waited for it. That's true. Well, right. the, the message I've learned from this is to only cash in my Amazon affiliates once a year and don't do it at a point when I really need the money. Just just do it like maybe just do it on the first of January, and then I'll get it March, and I won't even really know that I'm getting it. It'll just come by that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then by April I'll have I have enough money for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you right. go interesting yeah, interesting just, it, sorry go a, ahead um, it's a very great conversation that we're having i mean we you're now learning about about america trade and how america runs mm. you know trade when it comes to exporting and importing. absolutely and, now and, i know that the Mindy and Travel can't hear this, but the outro baseline is rolling. What a fantastic topic of discussion. Thanks, everyone, for your comments on the, on the chat. I'll see you all next time on the Gives a Minute YouTube stream in four to five weeks. Oh, that's um, we're out of time.